Howdy guys, I am back in the Banner Saga. Last time, well, we found out that the Bellower is right behind us, and we went the long way, and I went ahead and actually spent all my extra renown on supplies and rested up, so let's go ahead and go now that I've got high morale, probably more supplies than I need, hopefully more supplies than I need actually. And, uh, we're getting the heck out of Dodge here, so we're heading- oh, here we go. Look at that, shouts one of your clansmen. The caravan stops to watch Dredge pooling into the village you just passed through. I hope anyone who stayed behind got out alive, says Alette, but you have your doubts. They're coming, says Ivor, pointing out a line of Dredge leaving the village and marching toward you. As you watch, the Dredge in front falls over. Over, then the one behind it falls as well. You hear a twang to your left. Archers! Nid, the archery student of Odd Leaves, who you recall deftly shooting a snow rabbit, is firing arrows down, on, down the hill. Another dredge topples. That's incredible, says Odd Leaves, squinting. But we should get out of here. Odd's right, let's go. Return to the village looking for survivors. Hold on, let her do a few more. That's how she's gonna get killed, because, yeah, me, me putting people in these situations. I feel like we should go look for survivors. Let's go help survivors. The warriors complain as they ready their weapons. Nid, you say. Come with us if you can keep that up. She smiles and joins the fighters, getting ready to head back to the village. Oh, they didn't like that, but I don't want to leave people behind. Ooh, so I got a new girl here. The thing is, I already have... She's a bowmaster, and I don't really think... Um, Hunter, Sky Striker, Eagle Eye. Okay, so it is different than... I'm not sure how it's different. A mother of three. Oh my gosh. Nid comes from a life that never had to worry about things like Dredge or destroying her hometown of Frostfeller, but has adapted better than anyone expected. And let's see, Bird of Prey. The Bowmaster uses her longbow to shoot further than... That. Okay, let's try this again. The bowmaster uses her longbow to shoot further than other less experienced archers, and she always hits her mark. Bird of Prey makes it possible for her to strike units before they are able to get back in attack range, and allows her passive puncture to be used against more enemies. Oh my gosh, she sounds really good. I think I might actually use her over Oddleaf. Um, I'm going to try her out and see how good she is. I think I like her more than Oddleaf, though. So, um... Oh gosh, I got so many people, I don't know who to use. Alright, well, I think this, I feel like I'm still using too many squishy folks. I feel like I need to take one of these four out and use one of these guys, but I won't. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have gone back, I should have kept running. I'm not sure if this was a good idea, so I apologize, guys. Oh yeah, I think this was a bad idea. We've got three of the big dredge. Oh, and what is this positioning? No, how did this even happen? Absolutely no. Alright, so, um, let's put, I, I shouldn't bring Ivor. Ivor's a hot mess with his one arm. I really shouldn't even be bringing him. Well, too late for that now. Alright, so let's put the two Varl right here, and our new girl can go here. Yeah, see, I think I've got too many squishies right now, because see, all of us are going to just be huddled in a corner here trying not to die. But I think we're going to be okay. Let's uh, maybe switch these two. Oh, I can't. Here. Boop, 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 boop. Alright, let's go. Don't know if any of that was a good idea or not. Alright, so good old Ivor goes first, and we'll use Battering Ram to get this guy across the battlefield so it's one left. And he headbutts him. It's so sad. Look. He's so pitiful. Alright, let's have you um... I don't really care for uh, Kruger too much compared to some of the other Varl, but I really wanted to have another Varl, and we don't have any of the what I consider better ones, so. Alright, let's, uh, gosh, we're in a, quite a pickle here. Let's break through this guy's armor. Definitely think I'm glad I put more into that willpower thing. I think that's better than I gave it credit for. Alright, Alette, we've really got to get big guy, the big guys down, so let's just focus on them. I've learned the hard way more than once at leaving these big guys for last. Well, actually, I don't know. I still don't really 
you know what the best strategy is, honestly. Alright, let's do lightning. Let's just lightning the hell out of you. Hopefully I don't end up hitting a friend. I'm not sure how the diagonal stuff were. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank goodness. Alright, and we can work down some more of Big Guy's armor here. Here we go. Alright, this big guy. Gosh, this is a bad fight, guys. Alright, um, dang it, why couldn't you do a little bit more? I guess because you're missing an arm. You don't do so bad for a one-armed guy, I gotta give it to you. Alright, Kromer, let's see, when does this guy go? Uh, he goes after Rook, so Rook will be able to finish him off. So Kromer, I'm actually gonna have him go right here. He'll also kind of help block that big guy from getting over here a little bit, I think. So we can go ahead and attack. I'm just going to attack his health. Boop. Right through the face. He's going to run off and run back. What the heck was that? What was the point in that? That was goofy. Alright, and Rook can finish this guy. I probably should have moved Rook around so that Ivan wasn't right up front here, but whatever. Alright, so now... Alright, what shall I do with you, I wonder? Move her out. Okay, move her right about here. Um, thread the needle. Um, no, let's do. Oh, jeez. Um, no, let's just attack. I guess. Let's. Yeah, let's go through this guy's armor. We gotta get the big guys because they're very dangerous and do some pretty serious damage. Krimmer's probably gonna end up going down because he's over here by himself against a big guy. And uh, let's see. Let's have you do an arc lightning on this guy, power it up all the way, and get him. I should probably save the willpower for when I can actually hit multiple targets with that. Definitely, I think Ivan's definitely going to be like a permanent fixture because he seems really good with his magic abilities. Alright, let's just keep working. Well, actually, hold on. Let's see. How does, alright, so how does this work exactly? Like... I'm gonna give it a try just because I want to see how good it is. Didn't seem all that good. I think I probably messed up or something though. I don't know. Alright, we can attack this guy's health and it'll do a pretty decent amount. Krumer. Okay, this guy actually came to Ivor instead. Good. I guess that's good. Um, hmm. I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish this guy off. Yeah, not so much. Uh, should I use this? Oh no, I'm not close enough. Ugh. I don't really know what to do. I guess, yeah, I guess it's just hit his health. Maybe we'll get, yeah, two more damage. Ugh, I'm in a really bad spot. Alright, he went for my armor. Alright, um, let's see. We can have Rook, um, I'm actually, huh, let's see, this guy gets to go next, so I do need to kill him. I was, gonna, I was thinking about using Mark Prey on that guy, but I want to kill this guy, so let's just kill him. And maybe we can have everyone close and undo Mark Prey on the other big guy. Maybe, I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna move, I feel like moving Olette back, but I can do more damage from standing still to this guy, so I'm gonna just plunk him really hard right there. Ivor's still going, Ivor's still going somehow. He's still going. Alright, I have to be very careful with arc lightning because I think I can hit my units, so I'm actually going to just hit this guy over here instead of this one. Um, oh, it wasn't quite enough. Alright. Oh, I was hoping... Well, I knew, oh no! Okay, no, he's still alive! Oh my gosh, he just doesn't go down. Alright, I'm going to actually... This is really dangerous because of the big guy there, but I'm just going to go... I just want to... Ugly. Alright, let's just do that just in case. I just want to really make sure this guy dies. There we go. And I got an achievement for killing someone with the Bowmaster. Can't believe how many classes there are in this game. Alright, so Krumer went down as expected. I'm going to battering ram this guy away so he won't kill our poor pretty girl right here. I think he's still going to get to her though. Nope, he's going to kill Ivor instead. Alright, Ivor's still alive. Ivor, you monster! Alright, um... Alright, well, Rook can just kill this guy. I still don't really need to do the Mark Prey. I probably should have had him move forward a little bit. Alright, now there goes Ivor. 
Alright, so now we gotta get this big guy's armor down. I don't know if saving him for last was the best idea. Alright, let's, um, nope, not there. Let's, both of our Varl are down, so it's just us. Oh, not enough willpower, here we go. Not enough willpower, alright. Get this. Do a little bit of damage to him. Better than nothing. Alright, we'll just work through this guy. I should probably move her back, actually. Let's see, we can move back about here-ish and attack the armor. And, oh man, this is gonna be bad. He's gonna just slaughter us, isn't he? Alright, let's get Rook over here. And can, if I do Mark Prey, can we all shoot him from here? Oh, he's not. Oh, I gotta be in melee range. Never mind. Sorry, guys, I should know how to play by now, but I don't. Whatever. Break his armor. And he's gonna kill her pretty badly. Killed her right in the face. Alright, we can do some real serious damage with Alet. I really like Alet. And Ivan. I'm just gonna just run up and give this guy a high five at this point. Why not? Oh, why not? There you go. Right in the face. Right in the face. And then we'll have Rook finish the job here. There we go. With an axe. Alright. It was a slaughter for me. <laughs> Alright, victory, my renown grows, bowmaster achievement, consequences, my varl hate me a little bit more because they're constantly being injured. <laughs> Alright, yep. Ooh, oh yeah, Nid too. Good old Nid. And, yeah, pretty pitiful amount of renown. Uh, I don't know if there's a better way to get that stuff. It seems very valuable because it's how rare it is. More dredge are on their way, pouring out through the summer path. Hurry, you shout, rooting through houses. You find more than one family hiding in the village, and they hurry back with you to the caravan. Well, that, and, ooh, I got some clansmen. All right, we're all went up, and then it went down again, so I don't really know if there was a net, I guess there was a net loss, but we're still good, so I'm not going to complain. Stop, a resolute voice calls from somewhere in front of you. The surrounding terrain comes alive with armed fighters surrounding the caravan. No need for bloodshed, the leader says. Leave a couple wagons and pretend you never even stopped here. Uh, how about you leave what you've got instead? Attack immediately. Inform them about the coming dredge. Do as they ask. Okay, so the dredge... We're gonna end up pinched between the dredge and these guys. Um, how about you leave what you've got instead? I'm not gonna... I don't have time for this. How about you leave what you... The, the counter-offer takes the leader by surprise for a moment. We don't have time for this nonsense. This is oddly flucing an arrow before anyone can react. And the brigand leader falls over in a spray of blood. Oddly... Oh my gosh, the la ladies... G girls gone wild in this episode. I'm getting hyped for all these badass ladies in this episode. I really am. All right. Something sinister in the way Krumer laughs about this turn this turn of events convinces the rest of the brigands to give up on their errand and beat an a beat a hasty retreat. I like your girl, Rook, he says, to which Oddleaf gives him a dirty look. Ah, oh, that made me way happier than it should. That was pretty badass though. But man, between Nid and Oddleaf, I'm feeling pretty good this episode. I really am. I love me some badass girls. Looks like there's a Maybe another godstone over there. I can't tell if we're heading toward it or not. Oh yeah, looks like we're at another godstone. Some really loud music. We're not gonna stop here. I guess we can't. No time. We're running. Oh look, the face, it'll be kind of complete right there. There it is. Oh, how neat. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and be done with the Banner Saga for now. Next time, we'll pick up here at the Godstone of Dunder. Thank you guys so much for watching me play Banner Saga, and I'll see you with another episode soon. Bye for now!